Live breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Chelsea have signed Pedro Neto. It's done. Khalas. Finito. Look, I'm out and about. I'm uploading a video. I don't usually do videos. I'm out. I see I'm up and watch Chelsea have signed Pedro Neto. It's done deal. It's done deal. There's nothing more to the deal. We've agreed personal terms. We've agreed fee with, with, with the Wolverhampton. It's done. Literally done. 60 million euros plus 3 million euros in add-ons, which comes to around 51 million pounds. Yeah, 51 million pounds. I think like 2 million in add-ons. It's done. Deal. Finish. But uh, personal terms are not an issue. That's agreed. A fee with Wolves is agreed. It's done. Deal. This needle mover that everyone wanted. I think this is him. I think this is him. Everyone's been watching our preseason. Not the way kids looked okay. Mudrip shocking. Sterling shocking. And yes, Pedro Neto has played right winger, but he's also played left winger. If you look at transfer market, yeah, he's played more games in his career as a left winger than he's played on a right winger. It's done deal, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolutely done deal. Finito. Obviously, the big elephant in the room is his injury record. His injury record is shocking. His injury record is absolutely shocking. There's, nothing, there's no two ways about it. His injury record is shocking, yeah? Look, look, look. Injury record is absolutely shocking. Listen. That's what happens when you're out and about. People are trying to get walked past, you got to move different angles. It's what happens, it happens, it's fine. It's okay, we're getting the videos in, we're getting it done. Pedro Neto is a new Chelsea signing. Let me know what you guys think, man. Make sure we're liking, make sure we're subscribing, man. We're on the road to 2K, this is man. We are on the road to 2K. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you're subscribing, yeah? Road to 2K, ladies and gentlemen, road to 2K. But listen, like I said, versatile player. He's played on the left wing, he's played on the right wing. Okay, experienced Premier League player. Experience, that's a key one as well. He is an experienced Premier League player. He's played in the Premier League for many seasons. And don't forget about Pedro Neto, because I know he's, he's slightly gone under the radar in the last couple of years. But don't forget, a couple of years ago, I feel like maybe 2021, he's only 23 by the way. Oh, sorry, he just turned 24. So when this guy was like 20, 21, people were going crazy about Pedro Neto. Absolutely crazy. I know Liverpool fans in spaces, when I used to go on spaces on Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it, they used to go mad about Pedro Neto. And they used to go absolutely mad about Pedro Neto, okay? This guy is not someone to, to, to you know, just brush under the carpet. He's a serious player. Serious player and a serious talent. And Chelsea have picked him up. And listen, a lot of this summer window, a lot of Chelsea fans have been frustrated, okay? And listen, rightly so. But Chelsea fans have been frustrated. They think we need a striker. We've just signed a summer Morodian. And, you know, Victor Osherman is still on the, still on the table. Victor Osherman is still on the table. But not only that, not only that, Chelsea fans have been crying out for a winger. Because like I said earlier, Sterling has been shocking in preseason. Mojo has been shocking in, in, in preseason. If we really want to go for top four, if we really want to go for top four, and that's our main aim, we can't go another season without getting Champions League football. If we really want to do that, we need a left winger. We need a left winger. And yes, he's not right footed, he's left footed. So he's going to be playing on the left wing and he's left footed. That's fine. Let's see how that works out. Let's see how that works out. Because if you've got transfer market, like I said, he's, in his career, he's actually played more games as a left winger than he has as a right winger. Surprising to me as well. I thought he was, he was mainly a right winger, but no, he's played more games on the left than he has on the right. So he's an experienced Premier League winger who's versatile as well. What is going on with this bloody win, bruv? Anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, listen, 51 million. So the fee is okay. I don't think it's crazy. I don't think it's crazy. I think Fabrizio said they originally wanted 60 million pounds. We've got 51 uh, million pounds for him with a little bit of add-ons. I wonder what the add-ons are. And it's as simple as that, really. It's as simple as that. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe, man. Show some love to the channel, yeah? Like I said earlier, Road to 2K. Road to 2K. And listen, you know what's funny about this here? You know what's funny about this? This deal went so quiet. Out of nowhere. Literally out of nowhere. No one heard a thing of Pedro Neto. All we knew about Chelsea was the Athletic came out with a report yesterday, right? That Chelsea are looking for Oshiman. Right, they're still looking at Oshiman and that Samuel Morodian is coming to compete with Jackson or of course take over Jackson or could even be a third choice striker. The Athletic came out and said that Victor Oshiman, no sorry, Samuel Morodian could be a third choice striker. Could be no, Armando Broja, most likely leaving. Um, Dacho Fana, most likely leaving. Gooby, most likely going alone. So Victor, uh, Victor Oshiman coming in to be our number one striker, hopefully, that's what Chelsea are still planning, planning to do. And Samuel Morodian, and Jackson compete for the second spot. Whoever's third, whoever's third, that, that's their third, done, right? And they also in that report, also in that report, they did mention, they did mention, ladies and gentlemen, that Chelsea are still looking for a left winger. That Chelsea are still looking for a left winger. They're not giving up. They don't care about this Gabriel Met guy. He's coming in, no problem. But he's like 15, 16. No one cares about him right now. Chelsea are still looking for a left winger and wants to make an impact now. That is going to make an impact right now. And guess what? Pedro Neto does that. Pedro Neto does that. We're going to have competition. We're going to have competition on the left, even on the right, because of course, we play on the right. Because like we've seen in recent reports, Cole Palmer could be playing in the middle. Me, personally, I'm not a fan of that. 
but Cole Palmer could be playing as a, in the middle and the number eight that we've seen um, Maroska play. Maroska wants to play a specific style of football, okay, and that could be with Mudrik, uh, with Mudrik on the left and then maybe a Pedro Neto on the right and then Palmer in the middle. We don't know. It could be Palmer in the middle. It could not be Palmer in the middle. Sorry, bro. This is what I'm saying. In the streets, people get in the way. It's fine. It happens. Oh, my God. And as we are live, Pedro Neto to Chelsea. Here we go. Done deal. Literally, as, we, as I'm recording this video, Pedro Neto to Chelsea is a here we go. Done deal. Just like that. In the space of, what, 20 minutes? 25 minutes? Literally, as I'm doing this video, Chelsea, not Chelsea, Pedro Neto to Chelsea is a here we go. Done deal. Done deal. 60 million euros. That's what I'm seeing. Notification just swiped down. I read it quickly. 60 million euros. Done deal. I'm shocked. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm shocked. I'm not gonna sit and say I'm 100 percent gassed. I know what I know. I know what to see because he, like he's been injured. We we have to sit and realize this guy's been injured for a while. I think in the last two seasons he's only played 20 Premier League games. Last season he played 20 Premier League games. The season before he played 18. So it's not a lot of games. It's not a lot of games. But as we know recently. As we know recently that the medical team apparently is improving. We know we've got a few of injury prone players. Last season we had a lot of injuries and apparently Chelsea have got wiped the wiped the floor with the old with the old medical team and they brought in a new medical team. They've, they've got new ways of building of building the players up from coming back from injuries and assessing them and not rushing them back too early. Because we know Pochettino the fraud, yeah, he rushed back our players. 100% he did that. He rushed back our players and the medical team maybe should have done a little bit better, maybe should have done better. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of this criticism to the medical team. But anyway, the fact is, we've got good depth now, in the, especially in the wing options. Yeah, we've got good competitions. They're going to fight for option for the fight for their place. Yeah, and hopefully Pedro Neto can stay fit. Hopefully, hopefully Pedro Neto can stay fit. Hopefully we can manage his time, manage his game time, manage how much he's playing, and manage the, 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 the volume of his game time, and hopefully he doesn't get injured. It's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen, as simple as that. Uh, listen, all I remember from Pedro Neto, of course, very, very tidy player. Dribbling is incredible. I don't think his goals and assists, I don't think when you look at Pedro Neto as a signing, you wouldn't expect maybe a lot of goals and assists. But it's a very tidy, tidy player. Very good dribbling. Very good at the, keeping the ball close to his feet. He was at the Euros, didn't get involved as much in the Euros as probably he wanted to. He wanted to. Um, he only, I think he came off the bench three times. You know, that's it. No GNA. Not, not, that, not that you expect of him coming off the bench. But yeah, don't expect go I wouldn't say you expect goals. Don't expect crazy assists or anything like that. I think he's a player that can, is very well taking on this man, you know, creating chances, attracting players to him. We talk about Cole Palmer. Is he going to get the same assist, the same GNA that he did last season? Maybe not. Why? Because people are going to double up on him. Obviously, last season was an anomaly. So you couldn't expect him to get that much. But it's also because. Players will, players will focus on him more, managers will get their teams to focus on him more and you know, we, we don't want a 5v1 on Palmer and like we had with Hazard, you know, the guy's got no help. Now Palmer's going to have help, you're going to have Nkuku, hopefully he stays fit, Pedro Neto coming in, attracting players, taking on players, yeah, uh, keeping the ball close to his feet. It's going to be a crazy sign, I'm very excited for the signing and now Victor Oshman is next. If we end this window with Victor Oshman and Pedro Neto, oh my days, these Chelsea fans can shut the hell up, can shut the hell up, yeah. I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, if we sign Pedro Neto and Victor Oshman in the last couple of weeks of the window, oh my days, we're going mad, ladies and gentlemen, we're going mad. Listen, I'm not saying we're going to win the league, but top four, here we come. I'm telling you top four, is here we come, man. Top four, is here we come. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to wrap up here because, listen, I'm out and about, bro. Yeah? We know what we know what the plan. We got to do. We, we just we just had to get the video done. It's as simple as that. We had to get the video done. Listen, make sure to like it, make sure to subscribe, and let me know what you guys think of Pedro Neto Chelsea. It's a done deal, ladies and gentlemen. No more contract talks. No more sending sending bigs. None of that. Pedro Neto Chelsea. Here we go. It's done deal. Sixty million euros. Make sure to like and subscribe and road to two K. And I'm out, man. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up.